sweeter when our next guest is around. He's the actor we love watching week after week and season after season on OWN's hit show, Queen Sugar. Please welcome Kofi Sirabo. Hey, Kofi. Hello. Hi, Kofi. Kofi. Oh, up? welcome to the show. You know, I miss your kisses. It's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> I do miss them. Woo! You too, Bonnie. How you doing? Hey. 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 Okay. Kofi, let's get that right COVID to this. That keeping you safe right now, Kofi. <laughs> awesome. You awesome. know awesome. I stalk you, all right? On September 12th, 2017, at 5.41 p.m., you tweeted, <laughs> really, I just want babies in five years. Do you remember that tweet, Kofi? Because I do. Do you remember that? Overly remember that tweet. I overly remember that tweet. And uh, yeah, that's still accurate. That's still very accurate. Okay. Well, you have less than two years left. So is it still a possibility? What's happening? Let us know. What's happening? You want to know the progress. Updated. You want to know where I'm at with it. Word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm still doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like that transition from like little boy to like grown man is like, it's a real mental shift. And uh, I'm still doing the work and I still got two years. You know what I'm saying? But... On some on the on the real tip, no no pun intended. Like there's no time limit to that to that process. But I know like I, right. I, I'm like my direction is clear. So you know as soon as I as, I, as soon as I get in the pocket, I feel like God's gonna uh, bless me with what I'm looking for. You feel me? Amen. Have you come well, close? And we have a man that know. knows what he wants. Yeah. Have you come and close? we want to know. You said you said uh, do I get in my close? Uh, have you come close? Oh, have I come close? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And you could change your mind, by okay, the way. Okay, well, speaking, of coming, speaking mm-hmm. of coming close, everybody wants to know, what is your relationship status, Kofi? Relationship status? You know, I still I still feel like fancy is my relationship status. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Like, hey. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's never going to change for me. <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 I'm living the dream. I'm still doing me, but I'm working on myself. You know what I'm saying? Constantly. I and I still think fancy is my relationship status, though. <laughs> Kobe, don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> Do you guys feel like we're extras right now? Can we just put you all okay. together? No, take me out the box. Like no, take Not me like out. Grisel <laughs> <laughs> and Kofi. I had to, man. All right. So we did hear from your mom that she described you as a young Denzel Washington, introspective and philosoph- philosophical. He's my charmer. Everyone flocks to him. What are your thoughts on being compared to Denzel? Ooh. I think my mom. I think my mom really loves Denzel Washington. She really wants me to fit the shoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Denzel, but you know that's my mom. I hear that stuff. I hear that, and it, it, I just get shy. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, Aww. like mom, stop talking, please, stop, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> um, but nah, I respect it. I respect. It. I love Denzel. So any comparison is love. Amen. That's amazing. Well, speaking of your acting chops, on your show, Queen Sugar, it has always tackled serious topics. And this season, the show actually covers the pandemic, Black Lives Matter, oh. and corruption in politics. So yeah. how is your character, Ralph Angel, affected by these storylines? Man, I feel like Ralph Angel in the past, like, he's uh, he's very responsive to what's going on around his environment. I feel like right now, like with COVID, everything kind of slows him down. It slows everybody down. He's able to really like tap into his family and really lock in with Darla and really like, you know, do the work, you know, kind of similar to what I'm talking about on a personal level, but like, he's really able to like, you know, I guess manifest that stability. He's always, you know, I guess looking for, but there's no distractions. You know, he's really able to see himself, see his, his girl and, you know, this family unit, he really, really wants to create this, 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 this structure. He has an opportunity, opportunity to do it for real. He has a space to do it. And uh, we get to see him kind of spread his wings a little bit, really become a man. Cause it's like, we never saw Ralph Angel, you know, uh, with his mother and, you know, his, his time with Ernest was short lived, but all he wants is to live that legacy. You know what I'm saying? Become that borderline and like, really like hold that weight. And I think uh, this season we really see him transition into a man. For real. Well, you know what? We've got a sneak peek from tonight's episode, so let's check it out. Your primary goal is to leave them with the feeling of, yeah, she can do that. You understand? Yeah, I am. 
I've never thought of it that way before. I'd tell them kiss my ass if they don't hire you. Okay, too much. Too much? <laughs> no, no, I get your point, though. Don't, uh, don't think about my past or what I've done wrong. <laughs> I love well, you Kobe. some follow, boy. <laughs> yeah, you guys are great together. We always love watching you on the small screen and the big screen, but you've said that acting is not your plan your whole life. So what's the next chapter? Man, uh, as a young person who always loved life, like, look, man, I, I want to create spaces for young people. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. if I if I jump 10 years from now, like, I would love to have academies, you know, just teaching young people about life. Mm. We learned about, you know, history that ne wasn't necessarily true to us. We learned about a lot of things that ne didn't necessarily be, there's so, there, there's so much there for us, like young black people to just like discover and like, I want to create, create spaces for us, you know? And uh, yeah, and whatever that looks that. like, um, um, yeah, Africa, Africa is the future. So everybody, if you're black, if you're white, if you're Mexican, come to Africa. Ghana is the place. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got space for you. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, oh my God. It's always so fun and refreshing to talk to you. Kofi, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. Uh, Queen Sugar airs tonight at 8, 7 central on OWN.